Hi guys, so I was working on a new rail system and what I wanted to do is I wanted to get rid of the pistons and I wanted to be able to do something where I could literally run redstone along the line and what that kind of meant is I needed to make a T flip flop and it needed to be redstone only. So after a fair bit of playing around and some monstrous constructions like, yeah, those, <laughs> um, I managed to come up with this. So what I'm going to do is just give you a quick demonstration. Is I'll just put a lamp here and a lamp here. And as you'll see, this is a functioning silent T flip flop. So when I do that, is it flips the signal around. So obviously, if you just wanted one signal coming out, you could use any one, either side of this loop here. And that would give you your one off. Or if you wanted to use back and forth, uh, so you would use two outputs, you could have uh, one coming off both sides. Now, this is not reliant on any sort of specific length or specific strength of signal. Or, um, so you can, and you can have the signal coming in constantly and it's not going to make it oscillate. So, for example, what I've got here is a few things that I'm going to put down. So, first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put down a redstone torch. As you can see, what that's done is that's flipped it around. In fact, what I'll do is I'll put the lamps back out so you can easily see. Right, let's pick this up. So as you can see, that is not going to oscillate now, is it? It just literally, whenever the signal comes in, it sends a pulse and switches it, and constant signal is not going to cause a problem with it. And uh, you can do that with anything. So a button will cause it to flip around. A lever would cause it. You could step on a pressure plate. You know what? It helps if I turn the lever off, doesn't it, really? Okay, you could step on a pressure plate, and it would do that. And it only, it only does one toggle per signal input. I was a bit paranoid about whether or not this is any use, but I've had a look on the wiki, and I can't really see anything that's like this that uses just repeaters, just redstone, and just torches, and is not reliant on a specific pulse length or a specific pulse signal. And it seems to be fairly good. So what I'm going to do is quickly explain how it works and show you the footprint that it takes up. This is the actual floor space that it takes up. So as you can see, it's a four by four with another four blocks on the edge. And the actual size is that four by four is three high. And those four blocks here are too high. And it's fairly easy to tile. And if, uh, let me grab some red wall here. Ah, oh, actually, I'm so prepared for doing this. You could potentially have a signal coming off of, say, here. And then if you wanted to just use, say, repeaters to sort of isolate the signal, you could have a signal coming off here, here, and just sort of maybe stagger that and have a signal. And you could tile these as much as you want. You probably tile them up vertically as well. Probably have to have a two gap on the tile. So, I mean, that's going to be useful for me personally, because I can have sort of a junction system, which is not going to take up too much area. The way that it works is, okay, so we've got a loop here. So this one turns this one on and off. Underneath each of these, we've got a redstone torch here and here. And what these do is these will sort of just turn both of these on dependent on these two torches here that come off the ring. So we've got this torch here leads into this redstone torch and this torch here these into this redstone torch. So what we're doing is off of the ring here, we're taking one side of the AND gate. So this leads into an AND gate for its own control, and this leads into an AND gate for its own control. And then the other side of the AND gate is controlled by a negative pulse. So what happens is signal comes in, this sends out a flicker of a negative pulse, which sort of would make it that the other side of the AND gate has been activated. Using red, uh, redstone repeaters, that has been isolated to a different side of the circuit so that they cross over. And so what that means is currently this side is on. So one side of that AND gate is off. And then when the flicker comes through, the other side of that AND gate will be off, which allows this to go on, which turns this off, which will result in this being on. Whereas when the flicker comes in, this side of the AND gate's on. So it doesn't matter that the signal comes in here is that one's still on and it will stop that one coming on. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and build this really quick and uh, hopefully that will be useful for people. Okay, so the first thing to build this is probably easiest if you do 
three block high like that with a diagonal two between them. So as you can see, that's sort of a diagonal line across there. And then you want to connect the middle ones like this and connect those middle ones like that. And we want a redstone torch here and a redstone torch here. And we want to break there and break there. And we'll just bring some dust around like that and some dust around like that. Underneath each of these, we want a redstone torch. And then off of this side of the loop, we want a redstone torch. And we want that to lead into here and put that torch to lead into here. So what we're going to do is put a bit of redstone here and here. And put a bit of redstone here and here. So as you can see, what's going on there. And we want a repeater there and a repeater there. Right. Now what we want to do is build the pulse generator. So if we build a block, 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 so like that. A bit of redstone here and a redstone torch. We want a repeater facing outwards and we want to put at least a two tick delay on it. Or two delays on it. And then we just want a repeater here, here, here and some dust connecting them all. And that is done. Okay guys, so I hope that was uh, useful. And what I'll do, just put that there so you can see. So please do let me know if you find it useful at all. Um, if you've got any suggestions for improvements, awesome. It is potentially possible to uh, take this signal here as what actually leads into this torch here, but it becomes really finicky. And when I was playing around with this the other night, my mate said, you know, if, if you consider the fact you can't really improve on that, you know, that is the limits of that design. So I'm not going to try and mess around with it. That seems nice and simple to put together. It's nice and easy. It takes up a small space. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Have fun. Please do leave me feedback. Catch you all soon.